Flock of Trent checking in, man. Flock of Trent checking in. And the topic I want to talk about today is selfishness. Selfishness. A lot of time, people that's played with selflessness find themselves around selfish people. And being selfish, that's a character trait that can that can be changed about oneself. A person can be broken out of that. Notice I said can, because it can happen. A lot of times it never happens, you know what I'm saying? Selfish people live their life selfishly. You know, with no regards to the impact that they have on other people because they selfishly satisfy themselves. And I guess you could say we all selfish when it comes to certain stances, certain things in our life. I guess you can I guess we I guess we all selfish. Mm-hmm. Well no I, no no. We have selfish moments. But one selfish moment don't determine you to be a selfish person. The continuation of selfishness determines you to be a selfish person. That's like you do one good trait and all of a sudden, yeah, I'm a good person. Oh, if you morally, spiritually not right and you do a bunch of wrong, but you did one right thing, you're not a righteous person. You understand me? And selfish people take a big pull on family, friends, relationship, spouse, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, children. Selfish people take a big toll on people, man. It's almost like talking to a wall, telling a selfish person like they behave in self- selfishly. They justify it. The, the justification, the justification mechanism kicks in to justify their selfishness. That's why I say selfish people can be fixed, but a lot of the times it's not gonna happen. So. Sometimes you got to just remove yourself from around selfish people. Take a break from selfish people. Because a lot of selfish people that's, that be in our lives, we love them dearly. You know what I'm saying? We love them dearly. But for your mental, a lot of times you got to take a step back from them, man. Just chill chill out for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Stop giving advice. Remove yourself physically from around them. You know what I'm saying? Take a break from conversations with them. Give them. Give yourself a break from, you know what I'm saying, helping them or, or something like that, man. Because you'll beat yourself up feeling like you the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll beat yourself up Feeling like you're the wrong person. So, yeah. Uh, so, that's my solution. Take a break. If you can, try to sway somebody's way to get out their ways like that. Shit, do it, but don't do it at the expense of your... Uh, Sanity of your men- or your mental state of mind. Obviously, the right mental attitude. A lot of time, I remove myself from situations just so I don't. So just so I can continue the right mental attitude. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes engaging make 
know what I'm saying? Make make you go on the deep end. Make you go get on that dumb ish. You know what I'm saying? You get on the dumb stuff. You get on the dumb shit. Ooh, Lord, excuse me. Flock of Trent checking in, though. You dig what I'm saying, man? Appreciate y'all. Love.